In the event of a fire, who here thinks that you're safer sleeping with the doors open? I keep them open because I was a mom for so long. My kids' room is two doors down from mine. Always open. I'm not all that confident they would stop anything anyway. Harold, hey. Ben. Ben, nice to meet you. Harold, have a seat. Okay. Hi. Nice to meet you guys. Hello. Hello. I'm right here. Chris, how are you? Great. As you think about fire safety, what keeps you up at night? Yeah, I'm not too concerned. I probably don't think about a fire threat as much as I should, because I do forget to turn things off often. Have you ever been through one? A fire? No. We told you that you'd be coming here today for discussion, but what we didn't tell you is that there is also a demonstration that we want to show you. Sound good? I want to introduce you to Steve, the director of the UL Firefighter Safety Research Institute. I'll let Steve take it away. Welcome. My job is to lead a team of people that study how fire grows and spreads so we can keep you safe. Here at the Delaware County Emergency Services Training Center, we essentially turn this place into a laboratory. Uh, we've got several structures around here that we build to simulate where you live. And one of those structures is right here behind me. What I want you to do is I want to take you inside here and I want you to see how this looks like your home. And then once we get you outside, we're gonna go ahead and recreate what would happen if there was a fire in this structure right here. Look pretty normal? Yeah. yeah. Got some furnishings. You'll notice the difference down here as we walk down. This bedroom door will be closed and the one at the end of the hall will be open. And what I want you to do is pay attention to comparison of the two of those and think about you and your family trying to survive this fire. All right, we just hit the button, we have ignition. Oh boy, there she goes. Oh man, that is scary. It's scary, right? Yeah, it's really quite Look, we have some wow, smoke coming out over here already. Smoke's coming out. <gasps> what a lot of people don't realize is that the furnishings that are in our homes today are made of synthetic materials. So they burn so much faster than your old natural cotton-filled furnishings used to be. The statistics that we've seen through our research is in about 40 years ago, you had about 17 minutes to get out of your house after the smoke alarm sounded. Now you have less than three minutes. See, this is what we're, this is the things that we were. Oh my God. Whoa. Can you feel that? How can you survive that? Seriously, that is insane. All right, go ahead, knock it down. All right, as you remember, closed door on the left, open door on the right. And you can see the dramatic wow. difference between the two with the simple closed door. Impressive. We want people to be as prepared as possible and understand the importance and how little time you have and what that simple barrier can provide to you and your family should you have a fire. I want you guys to throw some hard hats on and some safety glasses and at least poke your heads in the windows or you can even walk in the hallway if you want. Give me a word or phrase to describe what you just saw. Anxiety. Frightening. Terrifying. I really didn't expect anything like this. I'll ask you one last time, in the event of a fire, are you safer sleeping with the doors open or the doors closed? Without a doubt, the door closed. Definitely with the doors closed, and from now on, the doors will be shut at night. <laughs> Definitely closed. Closed. Definitely closed. And I'm surprised by it. It's always great to be able to get the message out when we can take our research and get it out into the community to change behavior with the message of close before you doze. It, it feels great and hopefully we can save lives.
If there was one bit of advice that you could give friends or family today, what would it be? Close before you doze. 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 The key fire safety messages we want people to have are, one, have working smoke alarms in every level of your home, inside and outside every sleeping room. We want everybody to have an escape plan. Should you have a fire, you should know how to get out quickly. And if you can't get out quickly, having a closed door between you and where that fire is is critical to your survival.